Hey, what's up guys? I'm back here at Mission Fitness Center, an awesome gym in Alhambra, California. The focus of today's video is all about the triceps. I'm gonna be breaking down three superset tricep exercises, so performed back to back, each one focusing on a different tricep head. Now, as always, watch through this video in its entirety, pick out what you want or follow the workout from start to finish. And don't forget bsports.com. You can check out my full article with all the workout sets, reps, and the full exercise breakdown on there. But first, let's get started on a little stretch and mobility warm up to really get some blood pulled into the triceps and get everything nicely warmed up. Here we have four simple, but really great effective movements that will warm up the tricep, both the muscles and the joints around the elbow. Look, if you've ever been doing an exercise, such as an overhead extension or skull crushers, and you tend to feel a kind of a sore uh, point around the elbow, this particular sort of mobility exercise on the barbell, barbell therapy, barbell rollout, just really getting the muscles rolled out across it, much like um, a self myofascial release. This I really find beneficial, especially around the elbow. A minute on each arm, then I'm doing a circuit, both of the banded pull downs. If you don't have a band, uh, use the cable, use the rope, 12, 15, even 20 repetitions. This is a warm up. The goal here is to warm up the muscle, pull it with blood. We're not looking to get anywhere close to that point of failure. So, 40, 50% of the weights that you'd normally use. 20 repetitions, slow, controlled, squeezing that muscle at the end of that range of motion. And then from there, bench dips. Think about the positioning of the arms. So all of the exercises that you're gonna see within today's video is a combination of involving the tricep through a range of different angles and positions. Finally, we finish that with a banded stretch I've hooked it onto a fixed point, wrapping my hand in, externally rotating it, and getting it into a really great tricep stretch. Great stretch for that long tricep head, which is one of the first muscle groups that we're gonna be training and using in the first of our superset exercise combo. But now, let's get our pre-workout mixed up and we'll get started on the first of our three superset exercises. So, I'll see you over there. Okay, so here we are with the first of our three tricep movements. I'll be starting with a modified skull crusher or French extension. And then we're gonna move on to, again, a modified incline bench rope pull down. Now, the purpose of these two exercises back to back is this, um, this free weight movement is a real mass builder for the triceps. It's an exercise that really works that long head of the tricep and allows us to manage pretty much uh, the most amount of weight for practically any tricep exercise. So we're gonna start with this one. Uh, 12 reps, 10, 12 reps, nothing lower than that really. Again, with the supersets, I'm not looking for outright power or strength. So I'm not gonna be down in those five to seven rep range. I wanna be at least 10, 12, even 15. We're gonna superset them. I'm gonna perform this three times. So about 10, 12 reps each, and no more than about a minute's rest in between. Okay, so look, I know what you're probably thinking. Why am I performing skull crushers like that? Well, let me first explain and break down the first of our exercises. So skull crushers normally, our arms are sort of uh, at a right angle to the floor. We keep the upper arm fixed. We flex at the elbow, allowing the, the bar to practically come down to our forehead, hence the name skull crushers. Um, and then we extend back up. Look, the reason I've modified this and why I feel it uh, a more efficient exercise for the triceps is simply for this. As I extend the bar back up with my arms straight and locked out, I can pretty much rest the bar on that vertical arm position. My bone structure alone is kind of supporting that weight. Triceps don't have the full uh, amount of tension, the full effort in compared to when my arms are extended back. And even when my arms are straight and I'm fully contracting the triceps, all of that effort 
is on the triceps. I'm not resting and supporting that weight. So 12 reps there. Then for the second exercise, I've moved immediately onto this one, a sort of an incline bench where I'm sat um, with my back against it. You can see the cable pulley above and behind me. So this is all about the line of pull, the angle at which my triceps are having to work where that tension is coming from. It's a very different feeling than if we just stand in front of that machine and do tricep pushdowns. Have a look at where my arms are positioned, and more importantly, my elbows, how they're angled slightly outwards. This has uh, a much greater emphasis on really engaging and focusing on that long outer tricep head than if my elbows are perhaps more angled inwards and I'm moving my arms a lot. You'll see that I'm always trying to keep my upper arm in a fixed position with practically all of these exercises in today's video. That's simply because I want to work the tricep in its entirety, its full range of motion, as opposed to maybe bringing that whole arm complex forwards as I try and manage more weight. So if you can't perform the exercise with that level of strictness, drop the weight down, build up, and then start to progress. Got it? All right, let's move on, take a look at our second uh, tricep combo. Anytime I perform um, any specific muscle focus, especially with the arms, shoulders, and legs, I really wanna focus on at least one unilateral movement. And by that, I mean I wanna focus on performing an exercise just focusing on one side of my body. The reason for that, as I've explained in past videos, is A, to kind of balance out any imbalances, but also, and I think more importantly, to really feel that muscle do its job through that full range of motion of the exercise. Anyway, what I'm talking about here is a tricep kickback, one of the most fundamental, basic, but highly efficient exercises for the tricep. And the reason I'm doing this as a single arm and not dual arm or both arms at the same time is simply to execute the movement the way that it should be, as opposed to pretty much rocking the weights back and forth to try and get to the end of my rep range, as opposed to really feeling what that muscle should do. Then I'm gonna show you another modified exercise, uh, sort of behind the head tricep kickback. So uh, 12 reps on here, we're gonna move straight onto there. And speaking of unilateral, I'm gonna perform my right arm, then my left arm, move on to that. And when I come back, switch it up. Start with my left arm and right arm. Let's get to it. Two very different exercises than our first one. Uh, those skull crushers allowed me to move a lot of weight. You see the tricep kickback, that's not the case. And quite rightly so. Single arm, I'm really feeling that muscle do the work. It's a much slower controlled tempo. There's a real conscious squeeze, a contraction of the muscle at its sort of full range, and then a controlled descent back down. The whole approach of these videos is about conditioning, <laughs> and defining and creating separation in the muscle. So slow your tempo down, feel it, and a little tip about the actual execution of this exercise, my upper arm parallel to the floor. At least I'm trying not to move that, it's fixed. I'm flexing and extending at the elbow, that's what the tricep does. Over to this sort of standing behind the head tricep extension, I love this one. Granted, it's not a typical movement, but you really do feel it in a different way. The fact that you have your arm extended like this as opposed to down in front of you. Let me refer back to a video a couple of weeks ago, the bicep video, the long head and the short head. Arms at the side or arms a little bit more positioned to the front. Something as simple as how your arm is positioned, even though it's the same basic movement, can still have an impact on how and what muscle area is being focused on. Really not much weight at all but it's that continued tension throughout that full range of motion that is key to this one. And coupled with the heavier sort of dumbbell kickbacks makes for a great pairing together. Here we are with our final superset for triceps. And again, two very different movements. I'll be starting with uh, parallel bar dips, or tricep dips, using a weight belt. We're gonna do a bit of a drop set on here. And then immediately after, I'm gonna come over here, do an underhand grip pull down a little bit different than our usual pronated or overhand pull down. You'll see me step back, 
arms extended, uh, similar angle to the first exercise with those skull crushers. So let's get started on our first one. 12 reps, cable, 15, and then um, let's see what I can get, just body weighted push-ups. Having done a drop set on there, immediately move on to uh, cable underhand pull downs and then finishing off on those diamond push ups, which is quite a bit harder than doing your typical standard grip push ups. Uh, 13 is pretty good, but really that's just a, a finisher off. It's a final movement to use up whatever energy I have left in my triceps and pretty much signal to my body that, look, you need to become more efficient at doing that. And that's really the whole basis for this workout and all of my workouts. Put my muscles, my body, through a number of exercises, continue to progress at some level, whether it's by resistance or by continually changing some sort of variation. I want to coax my body into adapting and it's that adaptation equals change results. Okay, what can I say about the final two exercises here? Paolo bar dips, look, Keep it simple. When you lower your body down, your elbow shouldn't be going higher than the shoulder. You might be flexible, but you're taking a lot of that load off the tricep then and putting risk or at least a lot of stress through the posterior and middle deltoid. So lower down, upper arm parallel to the floor, push back, squeezing as you go. No need to fully lock it out. Keep that elbow slightly bent and try and keep a nice smooth fluid motion. If you need to, use a machine, lock yourself in, same thing. Knuckles facing down, nice straight line between the forearm and the wrist and keep the elbows pinned back rather than out at the side. Nice and easy to do a drop set on there. Just take that weight belt off, jump straight back in, get as many more uh, good, well executed reps. No need to push yourself. Look, if you get to a point of failure, whether it's muscle failure, or just exhaustion from doing that exercise, don't try and do more than you're capable of doing. That's the limit that you can do. So stop there, move on. Next workout, try and bettering it by one or two. Look, the final exercise here, this sort of underhand tricep pull down. I mentioned at the beginning of this video that we'd be looking at each of the different tricep heads. Long head, kind of a thicker medial head, and then kind of got this short stubby head at the back. And that's exactly what this one does. This underhand grip, elbow slightly rotated out, my arms are forward, and as I'm extending the arms, it's really this muscle here that I'm feeling contract the most. I have a slight bend on that bar, kind of like an easy bar. If you do straight bar, um, keep a soft grip, otherwise you're gonna feel some strain in the wrist as you try and angle the elbows outwards. And then look, our final push-ups, add some variables into that. I can do some incline push-ups on the bench, decline with my feet up, do some wide, do some side to side kind of spider walks or create some instability. All of these exercises in today's workout, I want you to take and modify. Share them, post them on Instagram, tag me, tag B Sports. Let me see what you're taking from these workouts and how you're adapting them and putting them in to your workouts. And there we have it. That's pretty much the end of our tricep workout. As I said, you can follow this workout in its entirety or you might like one or two exercises and want to pull them out, go ahead, do that. If you want to find out more about these exercises and how they're all pieced together, beastsports.com, search my name on there. Full breakdown of every exercise. You can see the video. You can read about the execution, the form, how you can modify, regress, progress. It's all on there. And uh, you know what to do. Leave a comment. You know, like if you like this video, share it with your friends. And uh, join me next week. Be back here at Mission Fitness having a look at another master group. If you have any suggestions, let me know, comment, or hit me up on Instagram. I read all of them. We'll try and bring them to life in our next video. So until then, keep grinding hard, stay motivated. I'll see you back here soon. Take care.